I have tried many AI presentation tools like Manus AI, GenSpark, and Gamma.app, but these are nothing compared to ChronicleHQ.com. So this is, in my opinion, is the best AI tool for creating presentations in just a few minutes. And I'm going to show you how you can create a presentation using this AI tool. You don't have to be knowledgeable about this side because there are many features, many uh, buttons and menus that lets you create a basic presentation. And then later you can use a remix feature which is within this platform to make that basic design to be a lot prettier. So let me show you how you can do it. First, go to chroniclehq.com and then you can create a free account. But before I'm showing you how you can create a presentation, let me show you one example that I just created using this AI platform. And by the way, this presentation was fully made by AI. I literally just provide the topic and AI will do the rest. But of course, there is a way to be more involved in the creation process. Okay, so this is just one example. It is very simple and elegant. Now, one feature that I like is that these are actually interactive. So these are just supposed to be images, but right now these are just empty placeholder images, but you can click on it and it will open this gallery view, which I think looks really cool. So in order to like PowerPoint and Google Slides, you have to create, you know, the custom setting or custom design to achieve that effect. But here, that ability is coming natively. So these are so images and there are many elements that you can click. You can also click this card and it will expand and will give you extra information. So there is information within slide. There are many layers of content that people or audience can enjoy during the presentation, which is a really nice way to make your presentation more engaging and people will stay focused on whatever you say during the presentation process. Now I'm going to click stop presentation and I'm going to start creating a new document. So let me click this button and click new document now there are many ways you can create a document presentation you can start with text you can start with a prompt and you can start with a website url but in this case i will start with prompt and i'll try to create a document let's say about you know the role of ai or maybe the benefit of, the benefit of ai in a classroom so that's a topic that i'm going to create benefits of ai in a classroom and then uh, you can also adjust various settings like you can select the template, you can select the number of slides or chapters and many other settings. But in this case, I'll try to just use the basic default setting. Now click continue and just wait for it to, to analyze your request and create the first draft. It is not creating the presentation, it is just creating the initial or outside the outline that later will be turned into a presentation so you can actually decide what is the layout that you want to use for the presentation for example uh, according to ai it will create six different slides okay now you can click this and you can select what is the layout that you want to use for that particular slide i'm going to replace it to key statement and i can also replace this with something else like let's say this design and you can do all of that, like, like you can duplicate the slide, you can also delete the slide, it's up to you. And you can also select the theme. There is only two options. There is the black and white, or I would say dark and light themes. But in my opinion, dark is much better because usually you don't want to make your audience eyes to be blinded by the bright light on the screen. So I think dark theme is usually a lot better for a presentation. And now there are two options. There is create skeleton. There is also generate presentation. Now, what is skeleton? Well, basically it is just text. Yeah, like if you click this button, every single slide is only this text and then this text. And that's about it. So it's very simple and it's going to leave you more flexibility to design the layout. Uh, let me give you one example. Uh, this is one skeleton that I created. And as you can see, it is really just heading and text heading and text it's really simple and you can uh, create your own design like you can click insert and then you can insert element like let's say let's try icon card and maybe i want to put it here i can make it taller i can make it wider and i can also just right click and then duplicate and let's do it again right click duplicate so this is the basic design that i, I just created and if you're not happy with this design you can click remix and then you can select whatever layout that you want to use. And it is basically an AI feature that lets you just 
put some basic facts, basic design, and then AI will improve upon that and will make the design looks way prettier. So that's the Remix feature that I think is really amazing in this AI platform. So uh, that's just one example. Now let's go back to the draft. And in this case, I'll try to use the full presentation using AI. So click generate presentation. So this process will usually take less than 30 seconds most of the times, depending on the length and the content. And you can also, also see the process in real time. Okay, it has created four out of six different slides and it's almost done. I guess I don't have to pause this video. I hope so. Oh, there you go. Six different slides have been created. Now I can hover above, above this area to see all the slides that, that were created by uh, chroniclehq.com so these are just some examples i think the design looks pretty it's almost like modern website it doesn't feel like presentation anymore it's almost like a website which is great actually and of course the insert feature is still here there are many widgets that you could insert like heading paragraph call out buttons text card etc and there's also this option to change the theme again uh, you can change the theme for this chapter or this slide or maybe the whole document and here there's the option to select the background so there is the, the color option there is also the gradient option i think it looks even more amazing uh, there's this overlay uh, this is basically just some decoration that you want to insert it's completely optional and you can also upload a picture if you want to but that's not the, the thing that i'm going to explore in this video but basically you can change the background as you like and yeah i think that's basically all the things that you need to know it's quite simple and yet it is easy to use you can you know drag and drop you can move it anywhere you like it's really like a canvas and it is actually much more intuitive than microsoft powerpoint and google slides and if you want to present the document you can click this present button and you can start the presentation you can actually scroll up and down you can click here you can also press the arrow sorry the up arrow and down arrow keys on the keyboard to move it in the slides and yeah it's quite simple although it is not actually started with the full screen so you have to press the f11 key on the keyboard to enter a full screen and start the presentation right now it's still basic there is no present review but overall I would say the features, the way it is being used is quite simple. It's easy to understand. And I'm looking forward to use this AI platform to create more presentations for my projects. So that's basically everything you need to know and how you can create a beautiful presentations using chroniclehq.com. And if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this video. I'll try to make more videos about AI just like this one in the near future. So thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you on my next future video. Have a great day.